Hello again, welcome back to me, myself and I, not doing a new run. We're playing the daily run, it's Azazel. This should be fun. How far are we going, Azazel? Uh, to the chest, it looks like. Uh, yeah, let's start off with 25 coins. That should be pretty good for us. Uh, I'd like to be able to therefore get into the shop ASAP. Shop's going to require keys, keys are going to require keys to drop. So this should be a reasonably quick run. Um, contending on this is probably going to be a bit difficult, uh, simply because the Sazel runs are as they are. Oh, that died. Um, reasonably sort of one. Start off with a one run, and then you go from there. No keys, unfortunately, but we're already at the boss, which is blue famine, blue famine. Affords us spirit hearts. Oh. <laughs> as long as we don't foolishly completely die. Or just brim snap. He's going to do this a lot, I think. Can you not, though? I'm trying to hit you. Yeah, good job. Does a whole heart damage when you run into him. When he runs into you. Cuban meat is going to help, and we might as well check this tinted rock, even though there's several on this floor. There's our key. We should go to the shop now. Uh, or open that, which is fine, but I didn't mean to. It worked out. I'm happy that it worked out, but also minorly displeased that it happened. Now we've got enough spirit hearts, if I can control this character sufficiently to achieve it, um, to get a deal with the devil on the next floor. I don't really think... Mm, yeah. We don't have a space bar. Let's find the... Yeah, I thought it would be here. There's even more keys, so that's going to be great for us. We're pretty much set up for keys, at least for the next floor. Uh, if not for further on, because we can expect to... Excuse me. <coughs> hey, oiski, poiski. We can expect to uh, gain keys as we go along, as well as use them. So we've got plenty of spirit hearts from this floor. Still got bombs, still got keys, got plenty of money. Uh, money could be useful. I would be looking out to get more. Buying stuff from the shop, it, I, I think, can certainly help us, although obviously you spend points to do so. Maybe we should go to the curse room? I think so. Uh, it will only cost us on the way out, so half a spirit heart. I'm going to be using my cube of meat for some reason, because obviously Azazel doesn't have enough damage already. But I feel like the cube of meat is a relevant thing. There's the key that we said we need, or that we were likely to get anyway. Uh, Robo Baby sucks, but I took it, so what do you want? I've still got my full card. In fact, we can go to the curse room entirely for free, so we will do. I have decided, as an executive decision, we will go completely for free to the curse room, and it has the packs in it, which is a really good item. Uh, not the pack, the mark. Mark packs, what the hell's the difference here? Uh, we might as well get a free card while we're in here, it's Judgment. Judgment is a coin judgment, we'll blow it up. Blowing up coin judgment usually is a, uh, a deal with the devil improver. But this time I think it just gave us some consumables. I won't waste time on those. We need to keep out of range of the exploding ones, which is easier said than done as Sazel. Uh, that's probably our secret room. Well, it's possibly our secret room. Probably maybe pushing it. We need to keep out of range of explosions, which is difficult as a Sazel because we're close to everything that we do. Much like, uh, much like evil queens, we are close to those that we kill. Uh, Golden Golden Heart is new. A new concept. I'm gonna go not to the shop. Never mind. Golden Heart will give us a lot of money if we lose that HP, that heart that it's surrounding, uh, which looks likely because of that. What I just did just now. There's more HP. I'm gonna take this first because I want it anyway. It gives us the HP that we can use to sell to the devil. Uh, I think both of these are probably worthwhile, and I think we'll do it in this order. Oh, that costs us that. That's interesting. And then we'll take this, which gives us HP back, and we'll put this back. We've got one guppy item. Guppy as a sazel. Pretty good, I guess. Now, as usual every day, we have to decide what we want to fight. What, uh, what, what rushes we need to do. And obviously we... Well done, well done me. We do need to do boss rush, and unfortunately we can't avoid doing hush... Why did that hit me? Alright, pay attention. Don't throw already 
We're tilting. We're confused by the hitbox. We've forgotten how big we are. Pardon me. Just pop it. There we go. And that is causing a minor tilt. We will arrest it before it becomes a problem. And we get two of spades. Two of spades we'll hold on to until such time as we decide to get a key. Uh, get a key? Yes, we decide to get keys. That's how it works. Do we decide to use the key? Uh, okay. Because we can double it at that point and maybe get more keys on the way. So. Oh, that was really, really dumb. Bonies still confuse me. I mean, I thought I got the hang of them and apparently not. So we'll use this now and go in here. I don't really care for charm tears. Uh, yeah, this could be really good, especially when we get to something like boss rush. The more things we kill, the more damage we do. Uh, we've got 16 cents so we can afford to go in here. And in fact, mm, I want to take the battery, but I will, because it's cheap. What the battery does is allows you to have two charges available at once, but the hero front. We'll keep hold of this. Um, oh, okay. Emergency contact is not that great. You get two charges in your spacebar item, basically. Uh, and then you can store it up, so you can use something twice at once. It's not too valuable for the deck of cards here. Range upgraders as easily is really good. Uh, being able to make two cards at once is not great. You are just going to use the deck of cards whenever it's available, but the deck of cards is itself not the best spacebar item available. And we may come across something we want to replace it with, uh, at which point we may be glad that we have the uh, extra charge stored up. Especially if we get something that gives us HP, like Satanic Bible, um, or the the, the book thingy that does the thingy. Revelations. The Book of Revelations. I'll go in here. I think it's worthwhile. We'll bomb this. We got... Oh! We'll take this first. Then we'll take this. And we're guppy. Then we'll take this. And leave. The nail is the sort of thing that I would like to be able to use twice. Why? The nail gives you a spirit heart, right? It gives you good damage for the room and the spirit heart. Do we know this? Well, we do now. Uh, probably doesn't really do anything, but we took it. Uh, if we have full spirit hearts, which is seeming likely because we're doing a lot of damage, we are guppy. And I have started to remember how to avoid taking stupid damage. Hello? Hello? This means that there's a chance that we're not going to need uh, a spirit heart for quite some time. We're not going to be wanting to use the nail, however. On a room like Hush, for example, we're probably going to find that we want to use them. We want more than one HP. Uh, greed is fine. Kind of. I was half expecting it, but I was also half just wanting to see what was in the shop. Anyway. Uh, there's a strong chance, we might as well take this, that we have got full HP, and then we get to a really long-winded fight like Hush, and we start using our HP. Uh, because Hush is difficult. So it's going to be valuable to be able to hit the nail twice, which we can already do. Pretty but it flies fine. Uh, in, in the one room. We should really be using it now, because why the hell not? But also, why? You know, it, it, it works both ways. The argument for both is just as valid. Why and indeed why not are both valid arguments. I'm not re-rolling this. Okay. Uh, and plus, we can use it twice. I don't think the damage penalty st uh, penalty. I don't think the damage bonus stacks. Uh, where the hell are we going? We might as well use this then. Sure. Now we'll use this. The damage against a boss room like this is worthwhile, and of course, it will apply to our flies as well. I believe. So we got the 1 HP from using the nail, so now we've got nearly full HP, which is amazing. And it's recharging. I suspect that we're always going to have one charge on it. So yeah, battery was a good idea, turns out. 
Okay, say I told you so. No, I don't. Who hates to say I told you so? Huh? No one hates to say I told you so. It's, if you're saying I told you so, it means you have probably got every right to be smug. We have plenty of bombs, so we can probably look for secret rooms everywhere. Uh, lots of pills, I'm not sure about. What makes you large is not ideal. Speed down is really, really bad. Explosive diarrhea does not help me. I've got infinite bombs, thank you. And pheromones also doesn't help. I'm not going to go to the effort of trying to find the uh, main secret room. But we've got a luck upgrade and two keys. So we have used our mail down to the quick. We've bitten our mail down to the quick. There we go. I knew there was something in there that would be entertainingly hilarious. Brilliant. Well, uh, I don't know what that does, but I'm sure glad I have it available anyway. It's, I think it's a uh, tagline is double or quits. It's double downtime. Maybe it either gives you double rewards or no rewards of a room. I'm not sure. I could look it up, but uh, I'm not that guy. If you're wondering who that guy is, it's Northern Lion. I don't know what that does either. I'm, guessing, I'm basically going to shy away from anything I don't understand, which is pretty standard behaviour for most primates, I believe. But, you know, Mom's Pearl is going to give us the occasional extra spirit heart, which could help. I don't know, maybe we should experiment since we really don't need the HP. Our guppy flies are really knocking it out of the park. Almost tempted to start playing uh, about and just using what makes you larger. What is this room, though? Just to see how big we can get. Like your mama. Look, I know... I know it's intellectually poor to use your mama as a just a thing to say, a joke, a punchline, whatever it is. But at the same time... You can't make me stop, I guess. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I avoid this bomb, thank you. This room could be shit. Uh, it nearly was, but it turned out not to be. At least our charge time is something that I cannot be upset about. Or, uh, I don't care about that coin. Our uh, uh, brimstone charge time. We've only on dank depths one, and we're at 11 minutes. So this is a pretty strong run, I can't help but think. I didn't even use the nail. We got a spirit heart anyway. Our flies are taking care of everything. Of course, if we keep selling our HP to the devil, which is not an option right now, but if we did, it's going to be three spirit hearts at a time. Uh, so the nail is going to come in very useful. When that next becomes an option, we should find the item room. We have plenty of time. We only need to be at the mom fight within 20 minutes, and we're at depth one in 10 minutes. So we, we should also do our due diligence, as uh, certain YouTubers like to say. Oh, fine, I'll take it and explore all the rooms, because every single room is a little bit more exploration points. I do like flies on this particular fight, because it means I don't have to get to exploding, get close to exploding things. And I very much appreciate not having to get close to exploding things. In case you were wondering, by the way, there's no point doing the uh, self-sacrifice room. That's not what I was expecting you to be wondering. What I was expecting you to be wondering was how Guppy works. Uh, approximately every tick of damage also, normally if you have uh, tears, every time a tear hits. With Brimstone, I think it's every tick of damage, so it's extremely powerful. You spawn a fly, and that was bad. That was really bad. I thought I could uh, explode it, but they seem to have started trolling us with the charge times on troll bombs. Uh, ooh, that's really good. Every tick of damage a fly spawns, and a fly does two times your damage when it hits an enemy. But there's this too. Let's go back. We have time. We'll go back up here. We'll use a die shard here. Just turns something into. Uh, well, okay. And there's another. It's the Empress. That's not great. Uh, I don't really care to take the sharp plug. The sharp plug allows you to use HP to recharge the item. Since our item gives us HP, that means we could basically use it any time we wanted to for free. Um, but you can only use it if your item does not currently have any charge at all. So you have to have just use it. Since it currently has two full charges, 
and I expect it to have two full charges for quite some time. Uh, I'm going to suggest that in fact a sharp plug is not going to help us. I'm going to go back and do this boss trap room before... Secret room? No. Seems secret roomy. Maybe this is secret roomy. No. Do the boss trap room before it involves backtracking to do so. Now we are going to need seven keys for the hush lobby. But, you know, what's seven keys? We've got 14 of them. So I suppose you could say it's half. Right, we'll continue what we were doing. We'll take this key. Now it's less than half. Right? Yes. Less than half is one of those phrases which uh, seems like it should seem ambiguous. Right. Do you... Do you less than half it? Or is it less than half? I suppose it could be less than halved. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just filling in time until something interesting happens on the screen. Man, these things... The flies really like to dash themselves against it, but because... Oh, rules card, you say. Uh, because we have brimstone, we can shoot them from the front anyway, so who really cares? Now I mean... The spiders, though, turn out to be quite a pain. And I could have got into the secret room for free, but who's counting? Hmm? Oh, look, who's counting? I can hear you. Yeah, I just watched that hit me. I don't care. I've got this. I'm going to use it. I use it. I hate these things. You think you can dodge them and then they can go and home again. Home axe you. Oh yeah, of course, um, the nail also makes you stompy. One of the lesser known dwarves. It, it means you can break rocks by walking over them. The map is pretty much what we want. We will blow this chap up to see if the... I wonder whether the value of the nickel is equivalent in points to the value of a bomb. Of course, we did get um, our... Find the item room. No, we haven't. We did pick up the, the steam sale from Fighting Greed. So, everything was cheap. Which I am a fan of. I like cheap. Just like your mama. I did it again. What's this? Don't know. Balls of steel. Well, that means I don't ever have to use a nail again. So one of these is certainly the item room because there are three dead ends off this next room. And then that'll be us. We're at 15 minutes and we've got to get to the mom fight within the next... We've got to beat the mom fight but within four minutes. I think we can manage that since normally I'd be thinking about starting this particular level in that amount of time. I don't, uh, I don't want that. The credit card normally makes everything free. It does make everything free. You use it and things become free. I think this just gives us the Bible. I don't know, it gives us loads of money. Well, that's pretty good. I'm a fan of that. Uh, it also works on deals with the devil. So we can take a complete set of things from a deal with the devil without paying for any of them, which could be very useful on this exact floor, so we'll find out. I'm going to stop, uh, stop holding my charge because... Oh, well done. Uh, because Robo Baby is supremely irritating with this laser shoot shoot pew pew. Noise noise. Arg. Let's go fight Mum. Uh, I know I said I'd stop. But... Mum, die. We could use our nail on both the Mum fight and the boss rush. We didn't get a deal with the devil, did you notice? Oh, these are both shit. <laughs> well. What do we take here? What do you think? Use Mascara will massively increase our charge time and probably screw me over, but it will hugely increase our damage, which means the flies will be extremely potent. So I'm going to do that. Uh, also, I'm going to accidentally walk over these freaking TNTs, aren't I? Just you watch. I should probably uh, try and get rid of them somehow. Yes. This may have been a terrible idea, because look how long it takes us to charge up our, our Brimstone laser, but... When it is charged... We can produce a lot of flies, and as long as those flies don't kill themselves on the thing that produced them, we'll then have a lot of flies with which to uh, attack everything else. See? So, thinking for example on the hush fight when we have all those damned irritating nubs and, and the things that chase us around, the zombie things. Those things can produce flies for us. 
and then they can all dash themselves against Hush itself, which will produce a lot of damage because each fly is twice our tier, uh, tier value per team power. And that is just doubled. So as long as we produce a lot of flies is what I'm saying, we're going to do a lot of damage. Uh, even more damage with the fact that we have the, the nail. Mostly of these things are dying before I get the opportunity to actually shoot them. I was going to say we haven't taken any damage, but there's a bit of damage, so whatever. Uh, I don't know what killed that, but I'm pleased that it did. I <laughs> Okay. I was watching my invincibility fade out, thinking, I've got plenty. I was wrong. But that's okay. We can be wrong sometimes. We're all grown-ups. We can admit it. Ship. Ooh. I think I got saved by Cube of Meat just now. Which is a... Uh, an unsung bonus of cube of meat. Normally it's uh, this is my main damage dealer or this is an opportunity to get an even higher level cube of meat. But uh, yeah, often it can just save you from damage, a bit like infamy. That just literally landed on top of me. Kudos to you for hitting me like that. Just fired a spider on me, you know? That happens all the time. My life is crazy. It's rip random. Rip, rip random. Sometimes when I play Isaac, I lose confidence. Oh, we won. Well, got this. What's in the box? Uh, I don't know what Lord Chess does, but I managed to avoid stepping on all those TNTs, and that makes me happy. Let's see if we can get a deal with the devil on the next floor and not pay for it. And it be paid for anyway. Uh, room one. I really wish we could have managed to wrangle ourselves the compass. Because it would have meant that I know where I want to go. We have found a mob trap room, which is a boss trap room on the womb. Always. It's always got three bosses in it. It doesn't matter whether it says it's a mob trap or a boss trap room. We've got full HP. We've got a full complement of flies. This thing's going down without using half of them, I expect. And if I could actually charge my brimstone, I would use it. Loki ain't going to last. Still hit me though. Store credit isn't going to help either. There's no stores. Well, there's the one on um, push. I suppose uh, we could consider using the, the credit card on hush. You know, the hush lobby where there's a shop. But I honestly think that that's probably not valuable because we do have 60 cents. And I am going to look for tinted rocks because we haven't found small rock yet. And the small rock would be such an incredible damage upgrade at this point. No, combined with the. Uh, the damage upgrades that we do have, use mascara, for example. I found the boss. Should we just go for it? We might as well. We've got 20 minutes, though. It's more up. No, but that is a crawl space. That is a black market. We could credit card the black market. That's an interesting idea. Uh, although, the only thing I really want is this. So, I'm going to pay for it. Did I want that? Well, I took it, so I better want it, I guess. Hmm. Shall we explore some more? Yes. Why? Because we have a lot of time. I don't really want this allergies room, but... I mean, I guess I've got it, so... Again, with the... It's like the Eternal Heart that I picked up. So don't really care for it, but here we have it. We'll accept it. Uh, okay. Well, I don't like this because I didn't even see that thing until I'd already walked into it, but I guess I can just do this now. <laughs> we do have our permanent Polaroid invincibility until we completely fuck up. Wow, careful. And, uh... Until we go to the next floor, basically. Which probably counts as fucking up, but whatever. I hate these things that make you wait. Like my ex-girlfriend. That was uh, just unnecessarily rude to nobody in particular. Let's leave this room so we don't have to pay for it. Into this room, which we probably didn't need to do. I'm just going to head down. I'm a bit bored of doing this floor. We've got... Yeah, that's what I want. We'll do this one, because it's nearby. Twisting my arm. We've got a key. That's fine. Gave us a few points. I don't really know how we're going to break our... Well, I, I, we really don't need that. I don't know how we're going to break our, our constraints. 
I mean, do we need Goathead or... We don't need either of these, do we? We can guarantee ourselves one deal with the devil. Uh, I'm going to use this twice and get 2 HP back and then take it. Look, why not, huh? That's what I'm thinking right now. Why? Why not? That's how you Isaac. You just why not everything. Okay. I could have uh, credit carded that, but of course now we're expecting a deal with the devil on this floor. Then we can safely assume that it's going to be... Bah. We can run the risk that it's probably going to be a little bit better than the one we just had. And therefore more worth credit carding. More worth not paying for. Is it even more consumables? All of which is just points, really. Points mean prizes. Leaderboard positions. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to contend, make ourselves you know, known as winners. Which we are. Don't let them tell you otherwise. There's that voice again. Did you hear that? Just in the gap when I wasn't speaking. Are oh, you a wizard? I didn't do anything. Okay. I got a battery charge, which I... <laughs> I was going to say I might as well just use now, but we can use it on a room that has a tinted rocket. Please. I'm going to have to go back through the, the video and see if I can find that gap. Because I swear someone speaks in the background. It's really creeping me out. No tinted rocks here. I'm just going to do all the rooms. You know, we don't necessarily have to do all these rooms, but I am. So, so bear with me, I guess. Thing is, if you don't have a charge ready, that's a. Don't really want lemon party either. If you don't have a charge ready, you have to use something else. That's pretty much the uh, the gist of that. See, the, the, the HP is coming out thick and fast. So why would we sort of not? You see what I mean? Let's beat Mom's heart now. Oh, let's just go to Hush because we're going to be in Hush forever. There's no point spending extra time. I mean, it's a very... Uh, I don't know what the word is. It's a very non-excellent way of earning those extra points. Uh, yes. No. Now, <laughs> I know I said I would credit card that, but if we took the Horror of Babylon for free, we wouldn't actually activate it. Because you have to have less than half a red H, well, less than one full red HP to activate the Horror of Babylon. Uh, Magician probably doesn't really help. Credit card probably doesn't really help at this stage. So I had to spend the HP to take Horror of Babylon. Because if I hadn't, I wouldn't have Horror of Babylon. Which is annoying. That's very annoying. So you might as well credit card this, I guess. I mean, what difference does it make? We'll take that, we'll take that, we'll take that. Nope. There's options. Doesn't help. Magician. Versus. Are you always. Well, we might as well take the magician. We can't do anything with Abel. And we don't have any charges on our thingy, even though I, you know, <laughs> wax lyrical. I was hoping that there would be a battery charge, but. I guess I should have recharged it before I came down here, but I wasn't thinking. What's done is done. Might as well use the magician card. We do have nine opportunities to fail at this. But uh, oh, hello! What are you doing over there? Mostly, I'm just intending to not have to. Right, right. Now we have to get close, close enough to actually hit it. Even though it's doing this bullshit right now. So this is going to take a while. Apart from the fact I keep failing to have charged my brimstone. Every time I do it. All those flies go in as well. So there's that. Every Azazel Brimstone shot is accompanied by a considerable number of flies all doing damage. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, the Athol promised nail charge, but fortunately, which is the opposite, we just picked up Horror Babylon. So we're already doing a decent amount of extra damage. Did I completely miss just now? Is that what you're telling me? Did I just completely whiff that? I think I'm safe here, so I'm just going to shoot the shit out of it. Am I reaching? No. Uh, I should move. Let's go here. That's hitting. Keep doing that. I'm fine with that. What are you going to do now? Just... Oh, man. See, again, I, I'm doing this... Uh... I knew this would happen. When you take... Whenever you take 
but use mascara, you always forget quite how long it takes to charge up a shot when you're using Brimstone. Simple as that. You really need to watch out for these. See, it's, it's not happening. <laughs> I'm not charging up. Also, we have Death's Touch, which I didn't really mention. Uh, it's a really good damage upgrade for us, but it's, that's the only benefit it really gives us. It's a very strong damage upgrade. At least we're going to beat Hush, though. There is that. You know, and our... Our, um... What am I thinking of? The, the nail there. That's going to... Oh, shit. Charge itself over time as well. On the next floor, which we're going to manage, despite my best efforts to kill myself. Uh, I'd like you to be dead. Thank you. We did get hit by the, the the big water beams of light thingies, which upsets me slightly. I'd like to have not done, but... Nails charge. We can use it whenever we like. We don't have to use it straight away, because the battery means that we're not wasting rooms until, you know, the 12th room rather than the 6th. We had a few flies left over, which dealt with that nicely. So now we just pick when we want to do extra damage, I guess. Probably a room with those uh, Gerdy Juniors that bounce around. Maybe uh, one of the, uh, the gates. That was actually a pretty quick push fight now I think about it. Uh, I, I know I somewhat sandbagged it by suggesting that it would take some time. Basically what I'm going to do is when I've got my second charge, I'll just use it for the HP. Because then I've always got another charge uh, to... I'll use it now. I didn't need to. <laughs> okay, no. Okay. And I got a spirit heart from Monstro. So thank you, Monstro 2. You have been a great help today. I couldn't have done it without you, except I kind of did. Might as well use bombs to find the secret rooms. Uh, that's very lucky. That was astonishingly lucky. And it's uh, the Midas Touch. The Midas Touch. Or just Midas' Touch. Uh, which, it doesn't help us too much. We don't have reliable invulnerability. But we did sell the HP that we accidentally took. So. Oh, good. Thank you. What makes you larger is not what I'm after. We can use that, we can use this, and we can recharge ourselves. Now, unfairly, in my opinion, uh, no able. Uh, the a battery charge only fills up your current charge. It doesn't give you six rooms of charge. Uh, I guess I can see why, but also I kind of wish it just did one charge and added to the battery. Uh, somehow, we didn't take damage from that. So Midas Touch, when you walk into something, the lovers does not really help us. The lovers. Uh, it will turn them into gold and do damage. The damage it does is based on your the amount of money you have. But we don't really want to be walking into things in our state because it will hurt us. Unless the thing that we walk into doesn't do contact damage, in which case it's perfect. Unfortunately, we're not fighting Satan. Because you can walk into Satan's feet. This is probably a room to use on. Uh, without taking contact damage once they're on the ground. I think they do explosive damage. It's the same as Mom's foot. Um, the the actual landing is explosive damage, so if you're immune to explosions, you're basically immune to Mom. I'm going to take this. We don't need the HP, and we did get a speed down and didn't compensate. Uh, now I'm fast, and I'm confused. <laughs> I'll confuse myself. Uh, I guess we use the nail here. We use Lemon Party. Get this stage done. This stage is already done. Uh, I didn't see that there. It's a good thing that I was paying slightly more attention than usual. That fight took no time. 30 minutes is probably one of the fastest runs we've had so far. I do tend to extend them artificially. Not because I want longer videos, but because, you know, once you're past the rushes, you can spend time and get the extra points. The trail, I have no idea what it does, but I'm going to try and do every room... I don't really have uh, a calibration for how long, how much, how many points we should be getting. You know, because uh, I guess I could check the leaderboards before we start on Greed, but, but I don't have anyone to beat. And if I did have someone to beat, it would be Pete. And the problem with beating Pete is that I can. I, I don't feel like it's a challenge. No, no offense to Pete, who's probably not watching. Uh, but Pete, you suck. I don't mean to cast aspersions on Pete by saying that. 
All I mean is that Pete has openly agreed that he is not the best at Isaac. I mean, I'm not the best at Isaac, but he's openly agreed that I'm better. Because I play it way more, obviously. I have like a million hours in it, or something like that. And I'm not very good in numbers. <laughs> Don't really know how to avoid those uh, those jump attacks. I just tend to stand still and cross my fingers and bleed. I'm basically wrecking through every room, so why not do them all, I guess? Uh, okay. I don't know if Penny Tears helps us in any respect. I don't think it's even a damage upgrade. I think all it does is drop coins when your tears hit, so... Maybe it does nothing as a Sazel. I would really like a tears upgrade, though, because... Uh, it just takes so long <laughs> to charge. When I run out of flies, I get sad. Yeah, I don't really have a competitive competitor in these dailies, apart from literally everybody. But you know how it is. I don't know who's... Like, I don't have any peers. I have no peers. Oh my god, I'm on my own. I don't get to see what the people I watch play this game have achieved. Until several days later. Which is a shame. I mean, I don't put them up until the next day. That was a very strange thing to have uh, dropped just now. Why would a chest appear? I haven't got Guppy's tail, have I? I've got nine lives. I've got Leo. <laughs> I didn't mean to. So, yeah, that's an item. I'll have it. We've got nine lives. We got Guppy's hairball. And. Yeah, we picked up Guppy's paw and put it back down again. So, we don't have anything that will produce chests unnaturally often. We haven't needed to use the nail all this time. Uh, there's Cricket's head, uh, body, which is a tears upgrade, which is exactly what I asked for. And I might as well take Lemon Party because Blue Baby starts on the ground. Is it a range downgrade? I feel like I've got a range downgrade from somewhere. Well, let's just finish this. We have 99 cents, which is a lot of cents. Yeah, it's a real damn, 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 damn grade. Something has downgraded my range, but what the hell ever. This fight is nearly over. This fight is over. This game is done. Thank you for watching. 44,000 puts us at 5.33rd. So, you know, that's a reasonable score. That's a really respectable score, but it's not a respectable position. It's a pretty decent position as well, if I'm being honest. But you know what I mean. It's not up in the hundreds. It's up in the thousands. It's not even above 530. Uh, it's not even above 500. Which I can expect. I did take some dumb damage and I spent a lot of things and I picked up some things I shouldn't have. I mean, another 30 points would have got us where? Somewhere up in the 520s, so it's not that much of a difference. But I suppose I should be looking at what I need to get 500th, right? 44198. So if I'd been aiming at 44198, I would not have been sad to have got 44 whatever I did get. So I'm pretty pleased with that run. That went really fast, 34 minutes. It could have been a 20 minute run, but I decided to go out of the ex go out of my way to explore everything. If I'd done that, I probably would have ranked higher, but I was getting bored running around, not really achieving anything. So thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll continue to do as well as we have been doing. I'm going to keep wearing my glasses, which apparently makes me focus, literally, as well as mentally. You know what I mean. Anyway, see you tomorrow.